Hello, everyone. It's me, Wolf4986 here. And in the last episode, we landed on Criteria, and now we are moving along. And Zong, Space Pirates. As soon as you get your missiles and your morphing ball, the Space Pirates will... That's not cool. The Space Pirates will arrive, being the big galactic jerks that they are. They take only one power beam shot to kill, as pathetic as it is. So just shoot them and move. And now we get to hop up this entire thing. The only problem is we can't speed run it like crazy, because I'm not for speed runs. You guys can have your speed runs if you want. You can have your GTFOs and STFUs. But I'm going to have my OCD. <laughs> Ow! Booger. Die. Ugh. Dang it. I am not doing well. Oh god, 69 energy. That's going to be happening a lot. By the way, wall jumping, basically you spin jump at a wall, push off from the wall, and then jump. It's a technique that is used mainly as a bonus thing. Oh, I don't have to come in here yet, do I? No, I do not have to come in here. Never mind then. Another pink door here. Let's go ahead and go in here. Uh, plenty of bats. Oh, one of you. I have no idea what you're called, but you're definitely annoying, especially from the original Metroid. I'm gonna call him a swooper. I'll call him a swooper. I don't care if it's a Mario name. He's a swooper now. Uh, but here we have a map station. Map stations uh, will give you access to the majority, the main points of the uh, map you're on. It won't show you some areas, some secret areas, like uh, there's a bonus area off from the landing site, you know, the place we originally landed in. That was pathetic. Uh huh, just moving along, just moving along, completely ignoring that I just got hurt by a bat. And here we have some shriek bats. These guys are kind of annoying. They only take one shot to kill, but watch out for the little chunks of them that fall. Now let's see if I can actually take care of this boss here, this mini boss. Not here. Moving along. Boom. I'm gonna open that, and then I'm gonna come back here, and I'm gonna start shooting up the place. So I can recover a bunch of energy and stuff that I've lost. There we go. Almost full energy. And now let us proceed. For another somewhat known item. The Morph Bombs, or just the bombs. Curl into your Morph Bomb mode and set a bomb with X. Certain blocks can only be destroyed by bombs. So let's get out, out of here. What's with that Shozo? Oh my god! Oh my god! It's alive! This is just the battle with Terizo. Basically, pump every missile you have, which should be 10, right into him. And you should be good. Which, I'm surprised that he's not dead right now. Okay, this could have gone a lot smoother. Seriously. Eventually, he's gonna be walking around without a head, and then he should be dead. Real easy boss. Mini boss. Um, so that was Terizo. Cool. Cool story, bro. I'm gonna try and do this by memory, by the way, all the items. Keep in mind, there are 230 missiles in the game and 14, well, energy tanks. You'll see what that is. They give you an extra 100 energy. Um, I have played through this game many times. Oh, you need your bombs. So, trust me, um, if anyone knows what to do here, it should definitely be me. I'm gonna go back and save. Well, no, I'm not gonna save. I'm not gonna save. And yes, I will be using save points in this- whoa! In this LP regularly. Yeah! Um, uh, ow! That was pathetic. Oh, back here's a save point. If you see an S on the map, it's a save point. If you see some orange thing, that is same as a ship. It only touches down in one place. For those of you that have only played Prime 3 Corruption, unlike me, who's played through Super Metroid, somewhat of Metroid, here's another missile tank, missile expansion. Metroid Prime 1, 2, and 3. And I'm keeping taps, I'm keeping an eye out on, uh, other M. But anyway, 
Secrets! Yay. I love those. Random little things like that. Metroid has a lot of things, a lot of hidden things that require you to just walk clean through walls. So you better get used to it. Seriously. And now let us fall. So anyway, we're coming all the way back down here for this. And bada bing bada boom. Single missile tank. <laughs> there we go. Twenty missiles. Um twenty five maybe. It may be twenty five. I'm not sure. No, it's 20. Hmm. Did I miss a missile tank somewhere? Ow! Hello? That was close. So yeah, if you think this is tedious, getting all these items, get used to it, because... Metroid games have 100% of items in there for a reason. It's meant for people to complete the game. So, I'm trying to think, where have I not been? Hmm. Whatever. Hey. Hey! Hey! You know what? Screw you all. I'm going over here. Jerk. So anyway, this wall here can be bombed out. Let's move along. Let me just go down here. Ow! Gamers. I think that's what they're called. And BOOM! Our very first energy tank just sitting out here in the open. Energy tanks will give you 100 more energy, by the way. There are 14 of these energy tanks in the game. Freaking pickle flyers. I don't know what those guys are actually called. I'm calling them pickle flyers. Because I, I feel like it. I'm seriously wondering how I'm missing a missile tank. Is there like a piece of the wall I forgot to shoot out somewhere or something? <laughs> Ugh, whatever. Oh yes, if you're missing energy or supplies, you can shoot these things and the little guys that pop out provide you with plenty of items. Plenty of. And now let's go down. Another elevator. Where does it lead? Oh hey, it's not time to end the episode. What am I talking about? So we've been to Blue Brinstar. Very short area. Welcome to Green Brinstar, another part of Brinstar. And we got plenty of missile doors here. This first one. Uh, behind door number one, we have a bridge that we can run across, but we're not fast enough yet. So let's just grab this missile tank and get out of here. Stupid respawning bugs. I hate you from Norfair. The original. Oh, I do have 25 missiles. Huh. Okay, I was sitting here wondering... Oh, jeez. What a noob mistake I just made. Alright, you know what? I don't have to kill you. I don't have to kill you to open the door over here. See? Another dead-end-like area. This game's just full of them. But here's the map station. Quite honestly, I don't need to access all these map stations because I pretty much have the entire game memorized. Seriously. So, to get out of here and activate the door, you have to kill all the enemies in this room. So that means you, Mr. Grasshopper, and that guy. Unfortunately, if there's an enemy on the door and you blast the door open, they don't start spinning in mid-air like the original Metroid. Because that was hilarious. Oh, it's a save point. It's a save point! I'll actually go ahead and use this one. Can never be too safe, I suppose. Well, actually, you can be if you're walking around in a full suit of styrofoam and plastic. Hmm. 
So I'm just using up all these missiles because right down here is a rather uh, unique little area. Don't kill these bugs! Running into them will kill them too. Ow! Spikes hurt. They don't kill you, but they hurt. Here we have a missile recharge station. Missile reload station, whatever. Point is, it recharges your missiles. Oh, wait, no. I do only have 25 missiles. Now, you, you as you can see, every time you kill one of these guys, light begins to dim. Well, that's because those guys are, I'm guessing, plasmites. Or at least that's what they're called in Prime. Hmm, mysterious block that we cannot break. We'll see about that.